Ooh, I can put this on my face. Oh. None. So what? Come here. Hello everyone, it's Costi here. Just to get a little bit more people. As I want to talk with you for a few minutes. Um, I have a few uh, questions that people ask me, so I want to reply to them. And then I want to talk to you about uh, the webinar. Hello, Carol. Let's talk to you about the webinar that I, I want to do. Why it's important and why I think you all should uh, come to my webinar, to be honest. I forgot the word in English. It's very hard when I speak in English, you know, so it's easy for me to speak Romanian. Hello everyone, hello. Right, so this is, uh, this is Joker, he's my Fox Terrier. Uh, I know I'm a very bad owner, look at the state of him. Um, he's eight years old. Um, he won Crofts, Best of Breeds of Cross in 2016. Uh, he really, really hates stripping. Like, you know, he been, shown as a puppy for so many years and then I bought it and I use it for competitions. Um, he had enough. So I'm just showing you some uh, tools on him and this will be the first time when actually I will clip him. You know, I feel bad, but at the same time I feel really happy for him. Hi, Standy. How are you, babe? Um, you know, just because they have to be stripped, that doesn't mean that I have to strip him all their life. If they don't enjoy stripping anymore, the kindest thing that you can do for them is just clip them. I love him. He's my champion. He's world champion, actually. He's champion in like five or six countries. I know, Annette. I can go back to, to stripping, you know, because I still have his balls. So I can, but, but I think today I will clip him. You see how he, he really, really, really hates stripping, especially the bum, uh, ears, and basically everything. If I touch his legs, look, if I just touch his legs, come on. And I pull the hair, look. My other, they don't do that. He's the only one who really hates. And I go just gentle, you know? So I think the kindest, hi Marcin, I think the kindest thing you can do to a dog, uh, like I said, it's eight years almost, um, just clip them. Hi guys. Right, so I have two questions uh, they've been asked for me. Um, what tools I use for my hand stripping? Uh, and there was another lovely lady asked me, can I do a video oh, regarding the shedding dogs, you know? You, like you know everyone, I have two Great Danes and my house is bloody full of hair. God, so I was like, what do I do? And also in the salon, yeah? So first I'll go with hand stripping. Um, like I said before, what I use, they might not be good for you. So you can try it uh, and see if you like it. If not, go to what you have in your salons, you know? Uh, if you are close to me, you can come to my salon and you can try them. I have so many bloody hand stripping dogs, so you can try them. Or if you are close to Mitch Dale, uh, Chris Brick, Bricks, I hope I spelled correctly his name, Kirsty Young, George Asher Fuller or Allison, you can go to their salons and you can try the products to see if they really work for you. Everyone will be more than happy to help, yeah? So all the products, you know, I love Artero. So all the products, they are at artero.co.uk, yeah? So, this is my hand stripping tools that I use. So this is the, wire, uh, the course. This is another course. This is the, uh, for flat work. This is for the fine, like for, for the tip of the ears. Uh, I never use, I used to use scissors on my dogs. I can't be hypocrite and say, no, I never bloody use my scissors, but I actually did use scissors. I can't lie to you. So I, now I stopped since I have my amazing uh, handler. Uh, Tony Ragu, so he said, don't fucking use scissors ever on terriers. So I stopped using scissors. Um, so now I put this, this is like for, for tiny thing that I used to use my scissors, you know? So it's for, for the corner of the ears, the tip of the ears, like for tiny, tiny things like the pads, you know? The only thing that I use clippers on my dogs or my hand stripping dogs regarding that show or hand stripping would be the balls and the, and, and the willy. Rebecca Harvey wants to be on my video. 
How do I do that? I think I had it. Right, so, um, like I said, the only part that I use clippers on my dogs, on hand stripping, uh, they are the balls and the willy because I'm not cruel. Right. right, so, first, how do I use it? Like, you know, this is what comes in your salon, yeah? And they want best to look like show dogs. They will never happen. Ever, ever, ever in their life, you'll never have a, a show dog if they come like this with this coat. I always try to educate my customers. You know, I said, look, what I do here uh, is not enough for you to have a flat coat. You know, you, I, and I always teach them to how to work at home. So I always tell them to buy uh, uh, stripping knives or even uh, carding knives. Uh, not, uh, sorry, not carding knives. Uh, coking. So this is what I use for pets, you know. Um, and I have them for selling in, uh, in the shop, so I sell to my customer. I have a lady that she did a brilliant, brilliant job with, with the fox area. And also what happens, you know, if they come with this coat, I have to be with the dog on the four table for, on the table for like four hours. You know, so I got, I go so red. <laughs> I know, you know, when I have anxiety, I stop so much, so much. Um, so I use coking as much as I can to take all the thickness and the undercoat. Hi, Tracy. Um, so, and then I use the stripping knives. I will always use this one to take the bulk from the, from the jacket, from the head, from everywhere. And then once I finish, I buff them. Um, and then, um, uh, then I use the fine ones. But like I said, right. So how I use it, I take my white card knife, uh, stripping knife. You always, um, I said I'm just showing how what tools I use, not like how. To, but I will show you a little bit of. of, of, of uh, so I will clip him anyway. Right. So I always follow the shape of the coat. Yeah. If this, you'll see where there are rosettes. Um, so you have rosettes here. You have rosettes here. You have rosettes here on the ears. Rosettes on the neck. Rosettes on the on the beginning of the of the shoulder, and on the back. Where are rosettes? That means your hair is rounded. So you need to find the position. It's very important, very, very important, the position, yeah? Because if you pull wrong, you, the dog will suffer. So you need to find the position and the right uh, angle to pull it, yeah? So because it's really, really hairy, I will just take, I have my beautiful chalk powder. Chalk powder. I like my eyes. I see, like, I have that. Uh, from the light. Mm. Right. I always choke. What choke does? Give the grip and texture. Yeah? So, stripping knife, I use the big, big one, and I said, I always try to fluff it up a little bit. Yeah? And, and do it as um, if it's also how you want to grow the hair. Because if you do like this, yeah, the hair will grow up. If you do it down, the hair will grow down. Yeah, so it's very important how you pull. Yeah, I lift it and pull. Lift it and pull. That means you you stripping layers. Yeah, so um, if you take all of it, you might cut it. You know the the stripping knives they do come sharp, so you have to be careful how you don't want to break the coat. Yeah, you don't want to cut the coat. So lift it and then just take the thickness at the beginning. Sorry, hope you can see, and I hope it's a good quality also. Yeah. Perfect. Once I finish that, uh, like the thing that I want, I will use my because I don't want to bowl. Some of them you don't have undercoat at all, you know. So some of them you do. So I uh, I will take my my other uh, my blue knife, and I take how much I want to to leave on the jacket, you know. So you should leave some three, four, five layers. Then you have the flat work, you know. So this you use for the bum. Use for the top of the, the for the back of the tail, you know, because you want to go short as possible, but you want padding here. And I will use it for the ears, for the chest. Uh, no, no. You always is good to carding your jacket, yeah. So you take all this undercoat from it. So I will always before like my dogs before I start to strip them, I will card take all the undercoat. What does allows the the wire coat to come out. Yeah, if you, if you have too much undercoat, you'll never have a wire coat. Oh, and I learned also, I start to like the, the, if you are a beginner and you are scared that 
you don't know how to use the stripping knife at the beginning, you should use uh, a stone. It's really good actually. I did uh, yesterday my fox terrier. I do like it because it doesn't break anything to be honest. Uh, right, so I think this is it. So, my, um, what's the word? My, you see why no one is here to help me? My uh, course, my two course knives, stripping knives, my fine stripping knife, my super fine stripping knife, and my cutting knife. This, I always have them with me, and then I always have my brush. This is like a soft, nice brush, so all the time when I, when I use our strip, I just brush a little bit, and then I can fluff it up also in the same time with it, yeah? So these are the tools that I, eh, of course, and my chalk and my, uh, and my gloves, because gloves is really good. So these are the tools that I always have when I do a show dog, when I do a pet one also, and uh, a competition. So these are my tools. Do I let something? Oh, it's good to have if you want for faces, which is nice, very nice. And this is it. Uh, these are the tools that I use, like I said. What works for me might not work for you. You can find them on artero.tafco.uk. And then now I want to talk with you. I might put him on the floor a little bit. Come on, Baba. Say hello to everyone. Say that I'm a monster. I'm a monster. Right, so I want to talk with you. Uh, it was a lovely lady asking me. Uh, she used, uh, I don't want to say brands because I don't want to talk about other brands, you know. Every single brand has their own brands and my work, like I say, my work for them that I work on. So I want to take a look at about my brand. Let me find quickly. She said that she uses the shading tool that, that uh, really does a lot for her. So what I do for my lab, so I start to do a spa treatment. And I try it because, I, like I said, I always want to try uh, products before I can recommend them because they might not work, you know, or maybe not even work for me, or I don't know how to use them. So I always, so for labs, um, short hair, everything that's short hair. So this, I know this is not Artero, but uh, Artero, they, they don't do this type of thing. So I really love it. Uh, I was recommended this by uh, the one and amazing, the fabulous, um, best in show, multi best in show, blah, blah, blah. She's my best friend and I love her, Cheryl Howard. I really love it. If you hear me, I really love it, bitch. Um, and this is what she recommended. This is a um, uh, mud bath, bath mud, mud bath. It's Madra Mall. It's really, really, really good. So what you do, you apply it on the dog way. So you wet the dog really, really good. Um, higher, and then you apply on, on the dog. You have all the, exactly also, tell you exactly how to use it. You have to be careful with the eyes, the hygienic area, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you leave it like for 10 minutes on it. It's really good. And after that, I use detox. I love the shampoo. It's really good. Um, I leave it for like two minutes or so after I, I rinse. You have to rinse really good this. Uh, and then I use detox. And after detox, I use the detox mask. I'm telling you, 60% of the hair comes after you use this. And after you start to blow dry the coat. I'm telling you, it's after like my dogs. My house, like I say, my house is full, 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 full of hair. After I start to use this, um, I have a 60%. They still mold because it's impossible to take all the hair, but they'll mold. And then I use, of course, I use a shed tool. I like it because you round it, you see, and it's follow. It's like the shape of the of the body. You know, it's not like straight. So actually, this one I start to use it also for cutting my dogs because this uh, cutting knife is a little bit wire. You see, but this is much finer. So why it's really good actually. I really like it. Takes a little undercoat. So yeah, back to the shedding. Um, it does really help. I, I'm trying now to use them once a month and my house is not really, really, really very hairy at all, you know? So, but this one I think you can use for every single breed, to be honest. I didn't try it for, because my poodles, they have too much hair, so I, I have to use a lot. Um, but I think it goes for actually for a, any breed anyway. But like I said, you need to put conditioner. You don't realize, but you actually you need to use conditioner on your on your dogs. It's really good. Um, I might do another one um, 
for the next the, the webinar, I will show you what I use also for my fox terriers for hand stripping, basically what I use and really works, especially when they're uh, um, when they're really red after you strip them. So what products I use and really helps. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the webinar. So the webinar, I will tell you in the end who is my uh, my uh, the other um, um, person that comes and help me. The um, Oh God, I forgot the word. The one I invite to be part of, uh, of the webinar is my amazing friend, Cheryl Howard. She, I want to tell you about a little bit about her because she's very, very shy, but she's an international awarding groomer. She's multi-best in show. Uh, she represents Groom Team England in, in a scissoring class. Uh, her Kerry Blues, I'm telling you, they're like utterly amazing. And what uh, knowledge that girl knows it's incredible. So that's all I want. I want her to be part of this webinar. Uh, normally, like I said, I don't charge, but I this time I will charge. Uh, and why you will find in this in a webinar, and why you should come to our webinar, uh, there will be like a few things. So first, we will talk about prep, everything that you want to know about prep. Because you know, I always tell you, oh, how uh, prep is very important, but how you do the prep, you know, how you achieve that beautiful finish. So we will talk about prep and Cheryl, bloody hell, I learned so much from her. Uh, she's really brilliant with prep. So we'll talk about prep. And then we will do four dogs, their pet trimming, that I hope will help you achieve faster um, um, timing in your grooming. Um, so I'm not telling you which breed they are, but uh, I see all the time in English groomers and I see all the time like, uh, uh, oh, I struggled with this, I struggled with that, and I will tell you how easy it is actually, uh, and I realize how easy it is to make them without stressing yourself. So it will be four breeds uh, to breed standard, but pet trim uh, will be some surprises. So we'll give you some surprises and some fun things because I personally, when I go to a seminar, that's why I actually go like to go to Colin Center seminars because they're so bloody funny and he's funny and I can't be like, I don't like boring seminars. When like, I used to go, I don't know, I used to go to seminars like, oh, I was like, oh God, I'm so tired. So I want fun, fun seminars. So I hope you will enjoy my seminars. And also the main reason and the most important thing, all the money they raise, they go towards Groom Team England. So myself and Cheryl, we don't take any money. Uh, we do this just for Groom Team England to support Groom Team England. And also this is the last thing uh, in our webinar, we'll talk you why it is important to you to compete, how to start uh, to compete, where to start, what things you have to bring for the competition, uh, what judges expect to you to, from from your competitor, from your dog, you know, what dog you need to have, you know, all this stuff that some people. I was lucky. I was really lucky that I had my mentor at that time that told me what to do and all the steps. But some of them, they start from the beginning and they don't know exactly how to start it. So I want to help all of you. Um, and I want to tell you why it's very important to do competition because believe me, it's absolutely amazing. And you make so many friends and blah, blah, blah. But I will tell you more about that. I hope I have to ask uh, Cheryl the day and I will do that for, for you. Um, it will be a very cheap also, will not be very expensive, you know, but I think you will have so much lo uh, knowledge, uh, fun and some nice surprises, guys. So I really hope uh, I will see a lot of you over there. Um, what should I say? I think this is it. If you ever need help, text me, message me, um, and I will uh, reply to you as soon as possible. Uh, if you like my video, you can link and share. Uh, Oh, I like hearts actually, because I'm a heart person. It's my, it's my heart. So yeah. So um, yeah, we'll see you soon. If you like, I say, any problem, you want me to do a video regarding a product or uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, let's say I have a lady that wants me to do a, a Shih Tzu and the and the and the spaniel. So it might be in the webinar, you know. Um, yeah, anything that you want to ask me, I'm here for you to help. So I love you all. And we'll see you soon. And it's on the top. Mm -hmm. Love you. Have a lovely day. I'm bloody at work, actually. It's so beautiful outside. I hope it's raining. <laughs> and by five o'clock when I go, I hope it'll be sunny. All right. Love you, love you, all of you. Mm.
Mm. I need some Botox, actually. Oh, love you. Let me see how close. <laughs>